Welcome on back to Elden Ring. In this episode, we are going to continue to look for a suitable weapon for our wizard. While the frozen needle is great, this seems a little bit too cheesy even for me. The fact that we can just kind of, yeah, just kind of poke people with ice from well, I know we're missing every single one, but you get the picture. That and rapiers and I don't really mesh. Man's like, this man's in a hurry. Ah, come on back here. I'm gonna get ice picked to death, dude. I wonder, can I still throw it on horseback? No, you cannot. It's a normal rapier on horseback. What are you gonna do? Oh, apparently block. Blocking works real well. No. No, that one's gonna work. That's about enough. Took a silly amount of damage from you all. And this is who we were waiting for. Our replacement weapon. I need you boys to hang out. We got a whole bunch of dudes to deal with. Maybe I don't have to aggro all of them, but I mean, what if it is if it's too easy? Alright, listen, dude. Alright, you gotta relax. You stab this man in the chest. Alright, and then sweep, sweep, sweep. Oak. Oh. Let's get some sips in before we die. Oh, it's eat. Alright, bud. That magic can have to stop. These guys are definitely resistant the old magiques. Let me we're not gonna try. Alright guys. Don't make me have to start throwing these icicles at you. You ain't gonna like it. Hope, hope. I mean look at that, that's that's insane. It's good, I just, I, I'm not a fan. I don't know why. What's it up, Shaggy? Oh, bro, this man was flashed up. He was hiding somewhere. I thought we could fight it in. We did, it just wasted a little FP first. No. Stop that. I mean, and the fact that we dispatched them pretty easily is honestly cause to keep the weapon. But still, no. We decided. Alright, boys. I don't know where you're going. Told you to hang out for a moment. Alright. Which is the one now? We'll, we'll just run up and do it. Poke him right in his foot. Yeah, that was... That's an overreaction. I just wanted you to stop. You'd have to go anywhere to start. And the Carrion Knight Sword. Which will be the weapon we are going to be using. Physical and magic split with a intellect scaling, and it has the Carrion Grandeur, which is a uh, just a new it's a different version of the Carrion Greatsword. Plus it's blue, look at it. I'll go upgrade it and we'll be right on back on the trail. And now that we've enhanced our Kyber-infused blade, I actually found Roger on accident, so we're gonna go and speak to him real quick. Ah, we meet again after all. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? 
Why can't you move? What's going on with your legs, bud? Do you see those, those like tentacles? Hmm. Yeah, give me lots of lots of lore. Let's let's start. Ah, so you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. Isn't he just right in here? You're being really dramatic. Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Hmm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on, take it. I mean, I guess you can't move, so you don't need it, but that's a little suspicious, bud. You might have guessed. I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. This man's hiding a squid. The battle art you've learned is of the Glintstone family. They were conceived at the Great Academy of Rhea Lucaria, to the north of this castle. In the past, they obeyed laws which contravened the Golden Order, or so I'm told. Fascinating, isn't it? That the Golden Order was pliable enough to absorb practices that contradicted itself in the past. With the Order broken, twisted, and in need of repair, such adaptability is more important now than ever. It's kind of similar, I mean, when Rome conquered, they didn't just wipe away everything, uh, all the culture about the other people, they let them have it as long as it wasn't causing a ruckus. D was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better. Blindingly handsome? Agreed. Oh, we need some souls in order to get this. I definitely want to add Glintstone Pebble to Sword, because that just seems... Just be able to throw a pebble out whenever... They never will expect it. Right hand, left hand, which one? Uh, spitting weapon's kind of meh, but... I bet it, Actually, I take it back. I bet this is fine if you have something that has innate bleed. Oh, still need something? Well, I mean, if you have more dialogue, bud. Nope. Also, full transparency... While I came back, it, while I was in the middle of uh, rendering the previous episode, I came back to come on and to see if I could do any upgrades to the rapier, and Insha attacked me. I couldn't throw the recording on, so uh, we didn't, uh, unfortunately, did not get the fight recorded. But here's his items. After you do kill him, I don't know what triggers his invasion, but he, he attacks you, and if you kill him, you get his armor. And we're heading back over to the third church of America to go visit Garonk. There's a teleporter back behind here that sends you his way. And this is an area that's going to be super late game, so pick fights with stuff at your own risk. This should be yep in the northeast of Kaelid, which is the dangerous part of Kaelid. Well, all of Kaelid is dangerous, but this is the extra deadly part of Elden Ring Australia. So, well, this looks like a boss fight. He's a nice boy for now. Go ahead and use the clapper and then head on over. We'll go ahead and give you two death root mine as well. I smell it. Death. Feed it me. Tarnished. Bring more deaths. I shall grant thee eye and claw. Feed me. Oh. 
this is where you get most of your beast incantations. I shall grant thee feed. And he just wants you to keep feeding him Deathroot. Eventually he will aggro you, but that is not yet. That thing is uh, Death Incarnate. We're not going to pick a fight, but we're going to head back to Lyrnia. I've got a couple areas marked. We're going to start down here at the lake facing cliffs and move to the south and then just kind of work our way up to this part of Lyrnia. I've got these marked, so we've kind of got a waypoint on where and just how far we're going. All right, so from this grace, we will. Got mixed up for a moment. Head north. And then move down to these tombstones. As long as we do it safely. That tree actually had a, uh, a hitbox. Wasn't expecting that. Hey guys. Yeah, this this blade is way stronger than the other, even with their magic resistance. It's only at plus three for now. As soon as we find a somber four. But all his homies died, and he is now stuck. He's very angry, too. From what I've seen, he's actually a more deadly troll than most. I mean, none of them are very deadly, but... You get what I'm saying. He's a little extra angry. Alright, bud. Hold still. Ciao. Yeah, I mean you're trying your best. It's just it's not enough. You aren't it anymore. You were scary a long time ago. But now weak. Three thousand souls. Or no souls, huh? Rude. Anyway, I'll just run over that and it should go away, but this is where you grab the Tree Spear. Which is a weapon that has been carrying me through on a faith build. An excellent weapon. It's actually one of the only ones that come innate with Holy that you can actually buff with uh, other armaments, like electric armaments and whatnot. Makes it incredibly powerful. But that's actually all there is down here, so we're going to head back north and then move around to some catacombs. with these marionettes. Once you hit them once, they freak out. Yeah, I see the archer behind me. So what you kind of want to do is... I mean, if you have magic, you can ambush them like this, but... Oh, they both dodged it. You just like, don't get up. Nope, take a nap. But once they freak out, they can throw out eight or nine hits. Kind of out of nowhere. been killed by them out of by surprise way more often than anything else. That's right. All you got to do to get their rune is just hit them. 
if you don't have magic, you can use a bow or even a throwing knife if you get close enough. Coconut. Coconut. There we go. Alright, I'm getting stuck on everything here. Go ahead and laser beam this guy. Later on, they will be saddled up with guys. I mean, well, maybe that one already dropped its, uh, its dudes off. Uh, no. Go ahead and, uh, past all that. Oh! Oh, that dog came out of nowhere. Alright, bro, stop. Hard enough without having all these arrows weighing me down. And slicer. You got lucky on that dog. So I see the flame over here. We'll deal with you first. And we'll move to move in on this one. I guess he forgot that we were fighting. I guess all of them forgot we were fighting. We take those wins. What's up, boys? Promise you don't want any. And that should be most of them. Ooh, we got the uh, the flat top helmet. No thanks. Sip up there, we'll go ahead and wait because our flasks are refilling a lot now, so don't want to waste any. I believe there's a way up on top of there, and there's actually a weapon. Let's see if we can make it happen. I think I'm remembering wrong. It doesn't look like there's anything up there. Please don't kill me. Ooh, the damage. That was silly. Alright, coming on up on these ruins. What have we here? We can summon? I mean, I'd like to, but... I don't know if we need it, honestly. Eh, what do you got? Uh, apparently a whole lot, because I can't hit nothing. Possibly. Good old Ray Lucarius soldiers. Oh, there's several of you. Take the target lock off so we can actually free flow and attack what we want to here. Alright, buddy. Two hits is all you get. Some useless glintstone? Oh, we thought we could get the backstab and get some iframes. Greedy. It's like I'll definitely trade off uh, for some of their armor. It does give us a bonus against magic, which a lot of the stuff here is going to do magic damage. Hand behind. Oh boy, more shrubbery grapes. The two fingers heirloom. For some extra faith. We scoff at faith. We are a man of science. And magic. Magical science. What say you, ghost? Come out. 
one and all from the darkness underground, and let us offer our the unto the maiden our eyes. Gross. No thanks. I don't know, life here before the shattering seems like it wasn't so good. Unless all this crazy stuff kicked in after the shattering. I don't think it did, though. No, sir. No, sir. Hello? There's someone there. Would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. Here you go, crazy. I don't want them in my pocket. Like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. Their frail fingers, emaciated. Yet still, they give me the grapes. But you seem somehow firmer. Don't tell me that. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. You are most kind indeed. All right, May see you later, grape lady. We're definitely glad you can't see what you're eating. There's no way those things taste good. Unless they are flavored like raspberries, which, I mean, I could see. Anything else hiding in these ruins? Yeah, some more angry puppy dogs. That I don't care about so much. Mushroom? Hi. I don't know how I knew. All right, with those ruins clear, or clear enough, let's see, maybe I didn't check this building up here. Definitely want to make sure I don't miss any items. Let's see, we would have missed this. Where does this take us? All right, on the road again, and we already found a grace. We were nearly, we were nearly there. Wish we would have grabbed it before we teleported over. That's no problem. Looks like there's a witch pointing us down that way, so we will quickly make a detour. some of these crystal buds. I don't really know if we have anything that can use them quite yet, but... Excuse me? Is that a squirrel? Oh no, it was one of these clowns. Okay. There's some more of these, like, ninja ambushers back here. These guys are a pain. They're so small. They're hard to hit from horseback unless you have a great weapon. They have excellent weapons. Most of them are innate with bleed. So farming them is honestly not a bad idea. I think they pretty usually have pretty low stat requirements. They're a light little uh, small halberd. Ouch. Yep, get out of that. I'm not trying to get murdered. Vulgar malicious saw. I haven't got that weapon yet. Was it a straight sword, or did it count as an axe? What's oh, a halberd? Okay. Well, we we got the halberd. Sweet. Weapon comprised of a saw blade, so it's kind of like the Bloodborne uh, saw blade itself. Cool. Actually, what were the stats? I thought that they were they were. What are the requirements on that? Yeah, they are pretty low. Fifteen and thirteen. Pretty good halberd. Oh, there's more of them. Gross. Now I got what I wanted. Y'all can uh, enjoy. Oh, maybe. Although we can get another one and get the power stance going with the, the dual magical halberd. That'd be kind of cool. Sir, I need to have use for your halberds. Nope. 
His need was greater than mine. All right, now where is the the cave? Probably missed it four or five times. Hug the wall a little bit. Oh, here it is. That's the way. Those doors cannot be as heavy as some of the other stuff we push open. That's false. And I do not remember if this is a catacombs that has um, skeletons or not. So if it does, we will go ahead and throw a sacred blade ash of war on just pretty much anything. Oh, well, you know what? We didn't grab the sacred blade. Oh, it's my fault. We'll do this the old-fashioned way, then. Usually there's a jump off on these, same as, uh... Same as the caves. Likely regret. I mean, kinda. But I'm always down to upgrade my spirit Pokémon. Uh, go ahead and... Just to see if there's anything under here, I don't remember. Uh, nope. Death. Likely. Oh, good. It's just these guys. Who are really weak to, to magic. Excuse me? I was talking smack, and then you decided to ruin it. I thought I heard something else moving around. I don't trust anything after these stone piggies attack you. Alright, new area of left. Yep. That's a gray sword. Keep that to yourself, sir. There's one right over there. They're coming to start throwing knives at us as soon as they can see us, probably. They are rats like that. Oh, can we get him from here? Well, that'd be perfect. We don't have to deal with that later. Ambush foiled. First off, down. Well, maybe not yet. First off, explore. I nearly didn't see that in time. Here, enjoy these. Oh, it didn't work. Get him out of here. Free belly buttons. I saw that other one run around the corner. Ah, oh, it's right. Spam that, uh, target lock button. I see something sitting down over there. You're rather large. How about you don't get up? That'd be preferable. Oh yeah, look at him, he's sleeping. Yeah, stay sleeping, fool. Roll, and jump attack. Oh, he kick. he's trying to kick, huh? Well, oh, that's a hug. Nope, no hugs here. Go ahead and kick this up for free stagger. They didn't do nearly as much as I wanted it to. These guys. Bruh. That kick is gonna stress me out. Stop it. Down, Chungus. Anything else in here? Oh, there's another one of you, of course there is. Listen, bud. I got no beef with you. How weak are you to magic, though? The answer is not. Alright, let's get good room to run away. Nope, high ground, bud. 
All right, maybe the high ground's bad against you. Oh, there's some imps too. Let's move across the room and hit him with some more snipes. Please lock on. Roll and poke. You tried your best. Deal with your punk friend up there throwing that blue fire down. Ooh, I missed. Oh, no friendly fire for you guys, huh? <laughs> no fair. Oh, I definitely didn't mean to hit the circle. Poke. Starting to figure the poke out. That's where your range comes from with the straight sword. Always take free rune arcs, even though we can just farm up some co op bosses. Bro. Ooh, the stone sword key dialogue always gets me killed. Doesn't let you push any other button until you click through it. He knocks Mirror Helm. Easily broken and weak against striking attack. I mean, that doesn't seem good. Worn by those who committed high treason. It wards off intervention of the greater will in its vassal fingers. So, like, if you wear this... Can you see the grace still? Well, I mean, this thing is ridiculous looking. Let's wear it. Unless it gets us killed. In which case, we will remo be removing it with a quickness. You stop it. Oof. No, get him. Yeah, there we are. Thought he was going to just barely get away. Actually, I think Eiji's wearing a helmet like this. This is above the... Ooh, I saw that last second. Did a very good job at camouflaging him. At least for an idiot like me. Hey, buddy. Want some magic? I don't trust that there's not more of you. Ah, oh, there he is. He's on the wall. Get out of town. Okay, so... How do we get over there? Is that the drop down we've got to do? Kind of looks like it. Just gonna investigate real quick. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely, so we've got to go back up and around and drop, drop down. And then somehow that path will lead back around. Same way. I'm gonna shot myself in the back with those arrows too. Playing the game right. All right, let's drop down. Oh, hey, buddy. Poke. Woo. Oh, you got another swing. That's not good. There we go. Get in there. 
Ooh, you're a pain. Please. Going for the greedy swings. This game's hateful, so I have no doubt there's more of them. Ooh, asking you shall receive. Okay. Carrying Granger. Please don't get out of range. Hey. Now enjoy all that. Ooh, back up. I definitely don't want to hug. Wonderful. Oh, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a staple. Go ahead and uh, where's the the please help? Oh, the wonderful. I don't know. Wonderful. That's pretty great. And some hefty beast bones. What else down here? The need to drink some blue. We're running low on flasks. Not another one. Oh, although we can cheese this one. Hey, buddy, enjoy. Why are you half health? Have you been stepping on the arrows this whole time? What an idiot. Alright, moving on. Go ahead and stab these wall just in case. Very surprised no more imps. Maybe they think those uh, those big boily boys are enough. This isn't gonna work at all. Oof. Even worse than I expected. See you later, dude. Please don't kill me. And we're gonna see if we can drag him back down here. There he comes. This way, bud. I got a trap for you. I don't know, did he lose did he lose attention? Nope, here he comes, I can hear him. Maybe. Hey, buddy. Ooh, he moves fast. Ouch. Oh, that's what did half health. Just one hit. Roll through that. And run through again. Enjoy. Oh, my God. Bruh. Rename you to Pincushion. And that's how you kill those guys, because, uh, getting into melee with them is the worst. And this looks like this should be our... Eh, the page ashes are fine. We're not going to use them, though. We've got a banished knight. Greater than Page. Three old fangs, and we should just head on back up here, and that sh door should be open, and I'll go ahead and refresh the flasks, and we'll fight the boss.
And with our flasks recharged, I don't think this boss has a chance. Especially with our boy Ingval. This will be your first damage test. Go get him. I believe in you. Especially since all those are chasing me. Yeah, go get him, Ingval. Oh no, you're getting whooped. Keep it distracted so it doesn't keep up. Come over here and smack me. Yeah, we'll spin you with the slicer. I mean, he does. He does very minor damage. Oof! That hurt. Get me out of this. Go ahead and get some extra. Padding. Ooh, insta killed him with that fire. We'll go ahead and finish this thing off. I say that. Yup, you wanna relax? Sit. Big old idiot. Caden sell sword ashes. I mean, those might not be bad. Old Knight Ingval kind of let me down. And with that Catacombs banished, we're going to continue our march to the north. Look, there's something up top on that. Let's go investigate. These wolves should be nothing. Yep, we do still one-shot them, thankfully. Although we weren't one-shotting them with the rapier, weren't we? What up, White Wolf? Ooh, you guys are kind of mean. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. We get it. You're angry. Beast blood. Huh. Kind of worthless. Moving on. Bunch of you wolves over here. Just normal wolves with more poison damage. I don't even know if this is really worth it, souls wise. Especially for the time and blasts we're using. 164? That's, uh, that's not too bad. All right, well. I want to find maybe one more boss, and then we, we can go ahead and call this a successful episode. And a crab does not count. Although they, they definitely count as many bosses. Not that one, though. That one counts as lunch. Thank you for the crab egg, sir. Looks like many a poor fool is murdered there. Oh, it's a skeleton tree. Gross. And we won't waste our time smacking all the crabs. Ooh, is that just a cerulean flask? Well, if it's not, then it's a magical ash of war. Never lucky. Oh, hello. Speaking of random boss fights, the Tibia Mariner. Beast Eye Quivers. Yeah, it senses easy prey. Where'd that thing go? Come here, you. There's nowhere to run. No, not even your boys can help you. We'll trade that damage. Well, Ingval's not doing much. He seems kind of a uh, garbage as far as summons go. Like that. 
only attack he has that does damage. And we'll see how much this does. Hold still. Chow! Plenty. Again. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Ah, that... Even taking a hit, it just... You don't feel it. He's not an intimidating enemy. Alrighty, well, I got you. Don't worry, dude. So what you do is you knock the skeletons over and you hit them again. You'll figure it out. All right, ugly, me and you. I didn't invite you, friend. Leave. I was hoping he would do his AOE and hit his own boys. This should work just fine. Go through the wall? That's the way. Go ahead and roll through that. And finish this clown off. You missed everyone. Good job. Some skeletal bandit ashes. Hello? Do I need to follow you back to your house? Oh, no! It was a trap. And with that boss fell, that's going to be all the time we have for today. I have been Space Wizard Apollo. Leave a like and subscribe if you had a good time here today, and I will see you on the next one.